But he has hired people that come from the car industry, right? Like, didn't he buy, like, I know he hired, like, because he put, one of the mistakes that he did was put too many robots. Was that, was yeah. that one of the things? Yeah. Try so to I, too much. Right? Yeah. Okay. So prior to me going to Ford, I was in the machine tool world for chip cutting and also automated systems. And um, I worked on the very first Unimate robots in, um, in the 60s, about the time your car there was built. Yeah. Your bus. So uh, if you look at a robot and you think about what is a robot, okay? So when I first talk to people about how they're going to design their plant and whatnot, I talk about robots and I say, you know, what is a robot? Or it's always oh, a revolutionary, blah, blah, blah. No, it isn't. A robot is a blind, one-armed idiot. It can do one thing that makes it an idiot. It only has one arm. And it doesn't have any eyes as a rule. And if you have to put eyes on, then you've just increased the uh, complexity by about a million. So you really want to try and make it so that it's easy for the robot to pick up something over here and put it over there. That's what they're good at. Don't do anything else with them. He thought that somehow the robot was going to be like magic, like a human being, right? Doesn't work that way. Not at all. They are not human beings. If you want things done in a good and right way, uh, design it so it is designed for a robot. And then guess what? You can't justify them. There's no return on investment. And I proved that when I was at Ford. That's why when other people came in and said, hey, how come you don't have so many robots? No room. Why, why, should, I, why should I extend the assembly line for that? Well, you got to be kidding. You get better this and better that. And they, never sh they always show up every day. Well, that's not 100% true, fella, because they need maintenance. And, um, and that means that when they're down, I can't put a man in to get the job done. But if a guy doesn't show up for work, I can put somebody else in the job. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, nothing, yeah, but there's no return on investment. So what essentially what he ended up ha uh, trying to do was reinvent the wheel when it came to manufacturing cars and mass in a factory, right? No, what he did was he made a mistake. He shouldn't have, he shouldn't have used robots. He, he should have, he should have asked somebody. Okay, so here's the thing. I know a lot about what I know. What I don't know? I hire somebody for, I don't, I don't know shit about finance. I, I know that I, I'm honest with myself and then I go and get somebody who's really smart. Uh, there's another reason that you use robots, the three D's, dirty, dangerous, and drudgery. Those three things. Um, so if, um, if, uh, if I, if, if I want to go stupid, I'll put all my, tra and by the way, it's not the first time. I mean, Leonardo da Vinci in, invented the first robot. It was um, it was a um, uh, a drummer. Uh, it was a mannequin that could play the drums. And the reason that he invented that was because what he really wanted to invent was the next generation soldier, a knight that would go onto the battlefield and uh, and swing a sword and basically kill other robot knights. He thought that was a good idea. It never worked. The thing is true for guys that don't know what they're doing when it comes to putting a car together. If you put a car together at production rates, it's a good idea to have people that, uh, that, that you know, can guide you. Done it like, before. for instance, uh, guiding. Okay, so do you know who the, uh, what the, the, the Dimer expedition was like? Okay, well, where they, a bunch of people in a wagon train were going to go to California. They wound up getting into the mountains. They got lost. They got snowed in and they wound up eating each other. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. at the end of the day, you don't want to get a, a bad guy. You need a good guy. You find out somebody who knows what the heck they're talking about and they'll help you get to the point you need to get to. But the best example of um, modern day stupidity was Roger Smith, who said, we're going to robotize everything and get rid of those nasty employees. Okay. He bought out tens of thousands of robots they all failed they failed because the design wasn't there and elon musk he fell into the same trap